Welcome back to my channel. This video is a little bit different as I've achieved nothing on this at all. I have about five projects on the go, but not one of them is complete yet. So I thought good time to show that video of stacking that Renesis four port engine. And then I'll explain what I'm doing to the red one outside, that being a six port. I actually have some ports here I can show you. And for shits and giggles, we'll start this up at the end of the video. Yeah, so enjoy. This is what I mean about having projects half complete. I got wires to nowhere. But on a good note, this thing now has seat belts. And it's got this cool thing. Just tidies it up a bit. The turbo is um, all the vacuum lines will run now. But this is a concern that I spotted last night. The wheels on a piss. It's like that. Mean. So just starting off, this is all second hand obviously, but it's all being cleaned up. Um, these were my irons that came out of here. I bridge ported them a while ago and we have all new parts here. So just assembling the rotors now and then we will start stacking the engine. As you can see, the exhaust port's all been cleaned out. It's got a bridge, so it should be all right. Um, so yeah, we'll get amongst this now. It's gonna take me a little while, so I'll probably just time lapse it. Okay, just about to um, throw down the first housing. All the water seals are in. It's been siliconed on the corners. Got a seal up there. Got the dowels in here. This is just sitting roughly where it needs to be, but what I'll do first is I'll put an apex seal in there and just make sure that the other corner seal um, is lined up. So when it comes time to feed the apex seals in, they'll just slide straight in. Okay. All right, I'm just about ready to close up the first housing. Um, all the seals are in. Um, so we'll just keep carrying on stacking it. So far, so good. But yeah, it's looking good. and re-glued the apex seals and then I'll slide them in here and then we're good to close this up yeah if you can see in there you can see how far that bridge goes down so it will definitely be overlapping this She's all stacked, um, torqued, flywheel's on, front stack is on, sort of, but we have actually tested for end play and it's a bit excessive. So I'm believing in it is going to be the spacer that's in behind here. Um, I don't know how exactly how it works, if we go bigger or smaller, but at the moment it's got a, a D size uh, spacer in there, which yeah, it's not far out, but it's enough. But we have turned the engine, it's got compression. Um, we should be good. So we're going to hold fire on this for a few days until we figure that front out and then finish assembling it. Okay, so it's been probably over a week since I've looked at this, but I finally have um, the spaces. So I got these from Simon from Mazda. He's, he was back at work uh, full time today. So I went and collected these. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned it in other clips, but this has excessive end play in it. So 
we need to bring it down. So we've gone to a small spacer. Now that, I can't really explain it, but going smaller decreases the amount of end play. It's got something to do in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'll drop this down. I'm going to pull this front stack off again. Um, take the space that I have in there. Now I'm pretty sure it's a, a, a D. I want to say it's a D size. Um, and we'll try the A. I'll put the dial gauge back on the front and see what the end play is then. Shouldn't take me too long to get this off. It's not, not that hard. Get this counterweight off. Uh, torrent bearing. So what I need to do is take this plate off here. The stack gear, stack gear plate. Let's call it that anyway. Take that off and then I'm gonna get rid of that space. And put it all back together, tighten it back up and hopefully um, we're within spec with the end play. And then um, the owner can then take it back and do what he needs to get done with this and everyone is happy. So that, sorry, it's a C, this one. So, and I'll try and find the A. Yep, there's the A right there. We'll try this one. Now, if you don't know, um, man, there's not much difference in that. Uh, the A spacer is the smallest one you can get. You can see it's, can you? Not really, there. So it's put in there, so we'll try this out anyway. Hopefully it um, it does the job. If not, then I'm not 100% sure what is going on with this. Um, everything's talked to spec. It should be on the money. Everything is where it needs to be. Um, don't know. But anyway, I'll reassemble this and then we will have a look at the end play. All right, so she's all reassembled, got the dial gauge on it. So I'm just going to throw this underneath. I'm just gonna push up on that counterweight. Point 0.7. Okay, now I believe that 0.7 is within tolerance, so um, this engine can now be uh, fully reassembled. We can put the front cover back on, we can put the oil pump on with the oil chain. Um, I think we're good. Right, so engine's ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna load it up in the ute now, but owner's gonna finish off um, doing all this, but She's all good. So in play is all good. Um, so it just still needs all the front um, gasket, uh, front cover put on, all the bills and bits and bobs and all that stuff. But that is pretty much good to go. So keep an eye out for that one. Okay, so now we're back to where we are now. Uh, that engine, I believe, might be going to the car this weekend, I believe. Everything's been reassembled on it, so that's cool. Uh, that red one I have outside. Now, I don't know if I touched base on it in the last video, but that's an automatic. Um, I do have the manual conversion for that. I received it, shit, well over a month ago. It's actually under my house, all in a crate, and it's got everything in there. So, once I get brake lines in this, which I hope is by the end of this week, I can actually drive this out, put the red one, in the back there and then put this one where the 323 was sitting so that's why it's not in here at the moment but as soon as that happens i'm going to yank that engine pull it down and we're going to port it and i'll show you those ports now so that's pretty much the port i'm going to do always do the exhaust one um it's actually a decent sized bridge these irons here are no good um that's the center iron there but i do have somewhere down here I have the porting template for the six port. 
So I'll get that done in the next couple of weeks and pretty much that's what it looks like. So as for this thing, I have just received some brake line. I've got some heat shield here and a few bits and pieces from Alien Speed Parts. Uh, definitely look them up if you need anything. Right there. Um, so what I'm worried about with the heat shield is the heat exchange through here and to my coils. So I'm going to have to build something. Something in there, and then as soon as those brakes are done, this thing will, um, I'll be able to drive it out of here, which is really good. That will, I don't know, I might muck around with it. We'll see how it goes, otherwise I'm just going to bite the bullet and send it to a tyre shop and they can do a wheel alignment. So I guess um, we'll start this thing up. So that's what I'm up to with this thing at the moment. So hopefully it's a long weekend this weekend. I can actually achieve quite a bit and uh, make a half decent video out of it. But yeah, so it's getting there. But um, yeah, I'm still feeling very nervous about the seventh, which I think is what that's two, two and a bit weeks away. Yeah, I just hope it holds up on the dyno. Got a plan B though. If this fails, we'll be dropping this off where the RX-7 is, and we'll be loading that bad boy up. I have actually purchased today another Microtech for that, so we're back in business with that car. So if this doesn't go, I'll have the RX-7 at reunion. So either way, we're going to be sitting in something. So a bit of a rush through video, but <laughs> I can't do much about it. Um, on a side note, if anyone out there has one of these, where is it? This piece that goes in here, the muffler surround thing, this one got melted ages ago and it just didn't need it. So if anyone's got one of those, can you let me know? I'll be keen to buy one. Uh, moving on with this. Hopefully this weekend we're driving it and I will most definitely be putting a video out on that. And yeah, it will be good, I hope. So rambling on a bit now. So thanks for watching and yeah, most definitely keep an eye out this coming weekend for... Another video on this thing. Cheers. Oh.